Hello, this is Oliver from Lentus.com and this is a quick tutorial about how to uh, use something like the ZBrush matte caps here in Blender. Okay, some of you requested this tutorial after I released the, the sculpting tutorial and well, I thought that I could do it because it's uh, very easy actually and it's pretty quick to, to, to make this tutorial. So, I have here the, the, the face that I sculpted at the end of the tutorial of the sculpting video and I'm going to apply these kind of materials to this model. Uh, but first, I want to show you here in blenderartist.org I've been investigating and I've found a thread about ZBrush Matcap in Blender. Alright, so here in this thread you can find information on how to achieve this effect and also uh, you can find a lot of images like this one for applying them to the model as materials. All right, what this method does actually is to use this uh, spherical image to take the, the the illumination conditions and project them to the material to the to the model, basing on the normals of the model. All right, so here you can see that the light comes from the from the front of the sphere, and here the head is receiving the light from the front. But also, as it, uh, it's based on an image, you have some stretchings and things like that. But well, it's uh, still very cool for taking a look at volumes when sculpting. Right? That's why ZBrush uses this technique a lot. So uh, here you can find also a few links about... Uh, well, you can find some pretty cool images at very high resolution and well, thanks to Oracle for providing them. And I'm going to use this one, this pack of images for this tutorial. So, I'm again in Blender and let's apply the material to this model. Let's open the end panel, deactivate only render for a minute so we can see what we are selecting. And select the model, apply a new material that we are going to, to call it uh, emulated material for example because it's actually an emulation of a complex material and on textures uh, create a new one which is image or movie and I have here already downloaded these images uh, okay they take a lot of time to to show up because they are very big images but I will use this one for example okay so open image here I have it and let's activate here the texture mode on the viewport activate here GLSL okay and now let's go again to the material panel and here select shadeless okay and you can see a quite weird effect right here but this is just because the texture is not projected yet in the correct manner. Okay, here mapping, uh, instead of generated, you have to use normal projection. And wow, this is pretty cool. Let's select the eyes, select the head again, Control L for copying the materials to all the selected objects, and activate again, only render. Right, note that uh, if you have lights in the scene, in this uh, in this mode you will not mm, see them affecting the model because this is actually just a shadeless uh, material all right so here you if you deactivate the shadeless material you won't see uh, well it's not working as expected all right but this way let's just take another image so you can see what happens let's select for for example Mm, I don't know this one just for trying okay as you can see it's very very cool because you can actually see pretty complex materials just on the viewport right so it's quite interesting let's go again for the other texture and I'm going to show you how it looks when sculpting. So you are sculpting on the sculpt mode and well let's make it little 
and let's select for example fclay and here you have it right it looks very cool something similar to zbrush and well even some people uh, use this just for sculpting actually you can use it for a lot for a large range of things you can even uh, prepare this material like it is right now and render it so you can create your own materials you can even paint uh, some spherical thing with uh, your lighting or with, with with you want with what you want sorry uh, in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever and apply it to the model right even if you paint a sky right in the sphere you will see it reflected on the model and it's uh, a very interesting way of faking uh, complex materials for rendering simple things and it looks very good with a very 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 fast rendering time alright so I hope you liked it uh, I hope you find it useful and I'm still working on the spider web tutorial it will be online soon so see you soon and happy blending